Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another anime movie reaction and today I'm going to react to Bakemono no Ko. Okay, um, for this show, this anime movie, uh, I have heard quite a few things about it before and I've heard it is really good. So, like, I never checked it out before because I usually do not watch that much anime movies. And so now here I am going to react to this show it's it's an old not old but quite relatively new show but still it, it was quite a few years back i think this was released and i've heard a lot of good things people saying about this like you know and the ratings are also great so i'm quite looking forward to what this brings and i have no idea what this is about um like the name is bakemono no ko which means uh the monster's boy or something the monster's child or something like that so i don't know like let's see maybe there's some some kind of monster here so yeah that's that's all i can guess from the title so without further ado let's get started let's see what this anime is about and what we have here so yeah let's get started with this movie so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's a countdown three two one Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Hmm? Whoa, what is candle? Whoa, but not that long ago, okay. Whoa, what is this? Jutenji. What? Oh, okay. Yosen. Okay. Ichiro Huko Jiro Maru. Hmm. Kuma Tetsu. Beer, yeah. Whoa! Wow, the animation is... When it came to strength. Didn't have a single disciple. Oh. Bakemono no ko. All right. This is a modern this is modern Japan, isn't it? So this this is happening in modern times. Oh, okay. What the? Hmm. Where's the kid going?
No, what is that? Oh, what? Mouse? That's a mouse? Oh, I, I think so. That's not a mouse. What is that? Nah, that's not a mouse. What? Like... <laughs> it kind of looks like a hamster in a way not a mouse but i don't know whoa what's happening they're like taking away his stuff Oh, and mom is not okay. Head family successor, only boy, and and the dad is not here. I'm guessing. Oh! Okay, that's why. What? Back? Oh, that's why she ran away, okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, people are looking weird at him now. Ah. <clears throat> Um, what is that? Whoa! What's that? Like sh shadow or something? <clears throat> it's in the hair. <laughs> Chico. Oh, it's that guy, I think. <laughs> Broom. <laughs> wow. Okay, it is. Oh, no, he's like, okay, here it is. Here's one person. Let's just. Let's um. Uh, boy. Oh, it, he it literally is a monster. I thought they were kind of, it was like a sim, sim, like, you know, like they just called him a beast or a monster, but okay. Wait, what? You, you want to take him with you? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kumatetsu. <laughs> ah, it's falling. And he's gone. Whoa. Oh boy. Odd. Um Yeah, that's not a <laughs> it's gone. What's happening? Whoa! Oh, that 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 sign we saw in his uh, weapon. Oh, that was a weapon, I'm guessing. In his back. Oh boy! Ah, uh, get in that alleyway. <laughs> Usually, it's not good. You know, it's not a smart idea to get into alleyways, but, <laughs> you know, bad stuff happens in alleyways, especially in anime. <laughs> oh, boy. What is this? Like a weird... Weird alleyway. <laughs> It's like a, this day, like a single. Whoa! What the? It's like a single pot of plant. And he's. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! No, no, this is. I don't think so. Ah, there he is. Uh, Kuma, Kumatetsu? Yeah. Oh, another little flower. There's flowers there, each and every. Um, what is that? Is that a horse? <laughs> ah, the horse is like, get out of my way. <laughs> oh, that's a horseman or... Okay, everyone is like a beast here, you know? Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Oh, he's, is he the only human here? Oh no. Oh boy, yeah. The Jew then guy, paradise. Sweet chestnuts. Oh, this started off really well. I'm really interested in this. What the? I'm guessing it's like a marketplace. <clears throat> um, oh no. Oh great. Bonito flakes. Oh. Big man. <laughs> Yakshubo. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, is this Guatetsu? <laughs> It's like a little thing in his cheek. <laughs> and my disciple, yes. A <laughs> broom. <laughs> What's What's up with a broom? Like, oh, this is ta ta ta. Okay. Okay, that's why. All right. <laughs> Beautiful humans. <laughs> no. Yeah. Wow, he has nice eyebrows. <laughs> hmm. He has that sign, even in his uh, jacket. Uh, I think it's something. <laughs> hmm. Oh no. Okay. Toilet god, wow. Broom god, okay. Oh, it's like a whole different world. Like. Oh, is this his house? I think so. It it has an interesting design, like you know. Oh my god! Ah, uh, untidy. <laughs> oh, like that. Hmm. He doesn't want to go back, you know. That's just it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> personal. <laughs> That's also personal. Or maybe not. Nine? Cute, huh? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's an interesting name. Cute. <laughs> okay. Well, I know Q means nine, so Cute. <laughs> As I said, this house is an interesting design. Like you know. Like the platform. Oh, the mom. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the, the, the mouse hamster thing is still here. Did he sleep outside or something? I think so. No, I think he's outside. Or maybe... Oh! <laughs> I don't think that was... Oh! Oh no. Ah! 
What the? What's for breakfast? Do you... Egg? Yeah, egg. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No. Boy. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> what the? Yeah, like just cook it a little bit, I guess. <laughs> oh, he's outside. Wow. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, whoa. Um <laughs> What the Oh Oh it, 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 it's that guy Uh the, the the rival And this is the two sons I'm guessing Oh <laughs> okay, so they seem like friends. I thought they would be like at each other's throats or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Is that human? Oh boy. Oh boy. Why? Is there a problem if humans? Oh. Then whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh boy, everyone's... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's good at running away, you know? Wait, are they gonna have a fist fight or something? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Mocking him. <laughs> Starts Fortnite dancing. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Oh yeah, they're having a fist fight. Okay. Okay, he's in the offensive. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Use a brain, Kumatatsu. Uh, Kumatetsu. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Mop. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Alright. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Is this like how you, yeah, oh, he's bec they're becoming beasts, kind of, transforming. Whoa! Damn, it's like a bullfight. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's pushing him back. <coughs> yeah, he's strong. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh no, he's Whoa. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Wow, the animation is really great. <laughs> ah! Boy. Stay in the mouth. Oh, he. Oh, is this a gra the yeah grandmaster? Oh, he's a bunny. What? <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Whoa, wait, what the God? Hmm. 
<sighs> wow. Damn, he's he's fast. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, awkward. Mm. Yeah. I think I also ate raw egg only once. I did not like it at all. At all. It's like a weird smell and a weird taste. I think I, I think like it, it's like an acquired taste. People usually get used to it. But since it was my first time, I really don't like it. <laughs> I prefer my eggs cooked. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa, whoa. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it went. Uh. Okay. Oh! Ah! <laughs> yeah, the stick is a little bit heavy for him, I think. Come on. What? Ah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you're you're this a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> He's making different noises every time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, detailed. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Mm. 
Oh. Hmm. Well, neither... Uh, like, neither in the human world. Okay. Damn, it's dusty. <laughs> oh, Oh boy, these Okay. What the hell? Hmm. Move things without touching them? What? <laughs> Long nose and dust. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh no, he's calling him out. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh. 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 Oh boy, run! <laughs> run! <laughs> uh, oh boy <laughs> God well <laughs> oh. hmm. Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What? What is that? What? Oh! Okay. It's gone. <laughs> well, they're going on a journey. Oh boy. <laughs> so. <laughs> Illusions. Woo. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What the? Is that a cat? <laughs> uh, it's a cat. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <clears throat> oh, she's back to yeah. Like, each and every one has a different way of interpreting strength. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Alright. Good to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. That's what I was saying. Everyone has their own interpretation. They're camping. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm sure he also learned it by her his own self. Yeah, there you go. Like that's why he's unable to teach someone because he he became strong all by himself. Hmm, I'm not accustomed to this. Oh, I see. Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, it's inside their house. I was thinking, where is this place? Hmm. What the? What's happening? Come him. I don't think so. Wait. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Oh! Ah, uh, nothing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> What the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oof. <laughs> Duck falling his pen. Yeah. <laughs> no, sometimes it might happen. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that he's doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
there's even like I'm just from the noise I think you know he's hearing the sound of his footsteps and then he can like imitate that damn yeah there you go <laughs> there you go <laughs> what's he doing <laughs> <laughs> he has always been fast in his legs you know he can like <laughs> run away very easily Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he needs this to win against the other guy. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Damn! Yeah, need, need to make those muscles. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the hell is this fighting? Yeah. One thing I noticed, like they said something about humans have the darkness in their heart. The like, even though the, he was being mean to him, as soon as he sees that he's better than him, he starts respecting him. This shows that they really don't have the darkness in their heart. These beasts. Like I'm going to talk about this later on. <clears throat> like if it were any other human, they would start getting jealous and like you know. But that's not... It's <laughs> taller than him. Uh. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, his footworks and his um, fighting style really changed. <clears throat> but... Yeah. <clears throat> Both are teaching each other. What? 70? What? Yeah. Oh, wow, his voice. Juna <laughs> Nata. Okay. Whoa! What the? Gam! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah!
<laughs> you do the dishes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. What? Oh, the little thing did not grow up at all. Wait, what's happening? Oh, is this human? Oh, no. It's a real world. Okay, so I'm guessing the time is different here as well, or is... Yeah, oh boy. Oh, no, how do we go back? How do we... What's he doing? Who? Well. What the? <coughs> ah, noisy! Oh boy. Hmm. Fifteen. What the? Wait, they were waiting for us for that long? What the hell? Oh, great. Okay. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is what's going to happen. Well, you have a few broken bones now. Better go to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know. We don't know. Oh, he's learning now. 
It's interesting. Like he never learned before, and he's like a master of martial arts now. And now he's learning. You know, like he's going to be master of everything now. <laughs> okay, and he can go back and forth now to the human world and to the. <laughs> this is really going to help him you know like if he learns like you know in even in the what do you call it the book department he learn about a lot of things a lot of techniques he can learn and you know learn a lot of things from the books like theoretical knowledge not only practical knowledge <laughs> Reflection of himself. <laughs> yeah, concentration, he knows that. <laughs> Kendo. Oh. Happiness of my. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's kind of the thing that Kumatetsu... Uh, hmm. Limits. University. Where will he get the money from? Like, well, he can get the scholar. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. Evening middle school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, who is this? <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Certificate of residence, oh boy. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. But Ah no, I, I don't think so. What what will he do now? Like Yeah. But like he, then he has to go and meet, yeah, meet him. Oh boy. Okay. Huh. 
Oh, he's writing a letter. Okay. It's not out like oh boy what the no likes nothing Oh is this a dad? Ah it's him uh, Yeah he he probably won't be able to recognize him I think you know Ah, uh, there you go. No, I don't think so. It's kind of difficult because he was such... Yeah, he's... Does he recognize? I don't think so. Boy. Wait, did he? Yeah, there you go. But where was he then? Like, then why did he like? not come up in during the oh so that means the people didn't even bother like you know informing his dad <laughs> but what what about kumatetsu Yeah. Mm. Uh Oh Ah uh. Ah uh, still Yeah Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy. Oh. Yeah, this is like, you know, I don't think he'll believe him, but if... uh, yeah. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, no. It's like he, as if he's denying the time he spent with Kumates too. Like, you know. Uh, it's confused, like, what? Start over, yeah. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I, the first scene, what was this about? Oh, wow. No heart. Oh, boy. This is a... Yeah, it's, it's a... I think she said she'll be in the library or something, yeah. What's she doing outside? Mm. Mm. Hmm. 
<clears throat> yeah, what's happened? It's a festival or something? Oh, we've begun to... Okay, okay. The tournament, I think. Mm -hmm, there you go. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Why is he like... What's with... Why does he always... Like... Does something the matter? Whoa! What the? What the? What? Why are the things uh, floating? Great! Wow! This guy! Yeah... Uh, well, he must have been going uh, through something, you know. Like, m must be some kind of complex. He always like you know, uh, what do you call it? Hides his face. Maybe he did not grow the tusks or something. It's just like his dad and his brother. I think that's like a complex that he's having. Something like that, you know. He said something like, "I'll have big nose and big tusks." I remember. Maybe that did not happen, and he's feeling conflicted. <laughs> okay, wh which god will he become? God of decisiveness. <laughs> really? Oh my god. <laughs> Great. God of decisiveness. Perfect for him. Ah, look at that. So many disciples now. Whoa! <laughs> Boy! Okay, he's here. All right. Whoa, nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's because he's again starting to be reckless, like, you know, just like he used to be. That won't work. Like, there, like, his stamina is going to go out like this. Come on. Oh no, he's like using his. Oh!
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, he's going to like, what the hell are you even doing? Stand up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh All right Yo footwork there you go <laughs> Whoa, all right. Yeah. Perfect concentration. All right, there you go. It's pushing him back. Oh God, calm down. Yeah, he doesn't have Well, he also looks a lot like a human, you know? Is that the... Yeah, that must be the... Alright. Whoa! Oh, nice! There you go! Okay! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Nice, wow, that was great. That was fantastic. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, he fell. Alright. Whoa, he won! He won! I will... Okay. Honestly speaking, I did not think he will win because... You know... I don't know. I had the feeling that by the end, it'll be kind of either a double knockout or he'll lose. But he won. That's good. <laughs> New Grandmaster. Well, who would have thought? <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh no. What the?
Then they have never seen blood before. Oh no! What the hell? I did not think he would go this far. This is the darkness in their heart they're talking about. Oh no, what the hell? Wait, where, where's Kyuta? Where is he? Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Whoa, what is... God. Ha, ah, great. Wow. What happened? Oh, is this what happens when, you know, they have darkness in their heart? Come on, he'll be fine, won't he? Like... God. Okay, uh, he's okay, I think so. Just hospitalized, hopefully. So he was a human, or, or am I mistaken? Oh boy, what? So why was he like telling, like what the hell? Like he, I remember him saying, like you should not take human kids as disciples and he himself like what? Well, I understand that. Then why was he like saying that to wait? Oh my God. So he thought that because it was Kumatesi, he won't be able to raise him properly. That's oh my God. Yeah, that is kind of arrogant. And he never told him the truth. Like what? Oh God. He should have told him the truth. At least. Yeah. At, at least by the end.
Okay, where is he by the way? He kind of disappeared. I think he's going to like bring him back or something. I don't know. That's what he's doing. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, he's gained consciousness. That's the parents, I think. Yeah. All right, well. Oh, what? Oh no! Is he here? In the middle of the... Oh god. Yeah, so... Oh no. Whoa. Damn. Oh, 
Okay, he's not pulling off the sheath. Oh boy. Ooh. Yeah, it's a disadvantage. Like he's using his blade. Okay. Okay, the weapon is gone. Come on. All right. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what was that? The book. Yeah, no one's going to pay any attention to. Oh boy. Wait, did he like take the form of a whale or something? Oh no. Yeah, I think so. He took the form of a whale after reading that book. Oh boy. Oh. God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the bridge is like. Underground? Isn't it even more dangerous under- I don't know. Uh. Oh, he's looking for him, I think, yeah. Fire, oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Oh 
What are you even saying? You guys like All right, Grandmaster is here. Method. God. What? He wants me to hand over? What? Well, he is a grandmaster, like what? Oh. oh boy, he's here. Whoa. Yeah, well. Ugh. Oh, Whoa, look at that hole. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay, yeah, he's showing his oh. Oh, his uh, opening his blade, unsheathing it. Oh, catch him, yeah. Whoa! Wow, the animation. Damn, flaming blade. Oh, that's him. Oh, he, okay. He became a Sukumogami, okay.
Oh. Okay, well... Whoa! Whoa, in one blow! Damn. Oh, he's, he's now able to follow him, I think. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Unsheathing of the blade in his heart. Whoa. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he saved him. Hmm. All right. In his house, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, he doesn't even like not know that. driverless truck okay so that's what's well obviously they won't be able to understand what happened yeah okay there you go hmm okay
So wait, is he the Grandmaster now? Ah <laughs> uh, boy. Oh, oh, he he's a Grandmaster. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, he's she's here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, the dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little thing. <laughs> Back in on Okay. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> Just like everyone says, this is really great. I I already heard that and I knew that this is a good movie and Yeah, it's great. Oof. I one thing I really uh one thing that I really liked about this movie was it was something that we saw from his childhood and you know it happened up till the end not end but you know uh up till he grew up and like you know like we saw everything like from what he did when he was a child like the first one hour was basically dedicated uh for his time during his childhood and the next one hour was dedicated for after he became you know a teenager and an adult so like that's one thing that i really liked the you know the way it happened like both of them had equal importance like you know both his childhood and both his uh you know teenager time his adulthood both of them were given equal importance in a way and uh, yeah like that was good and like you know a lot of things happened in this small amount one on this two hour amount of time and it's really great that they were able to include so many information so many things in this two hour time and at the same time it did not feel rushed you know it, it did not feel rushed at all everything went so smoothly and so like the pace was really nice and it was neither too slow neither too fast it was a comfortable pace and like yeah that was good usually as i said like you know usually whenever there's like an anime where there are two sections one section when he's a child and one section when he's an adult 
they either like you know shorten one portion and lengthen one portion vice versa and like you know it's kind of unbalanced in a way it usually happens like this i kind of kind of seen a few animals like that which like, you know like for example the first 15 or 20 minutes was like the childhood and then all throughout the rest of the movie it was just his adulthood something like that uh, you know so i loved the fact that everything was balanced in a good way they showed us uh, a lot of things about when he was a child and also when he grew up after he grew up <laughs> so yeah and one thing i have to say is the uh, animation was really impressive and uh, yeah it, it was great especially like the visuals the fighting scenes and yeah obviously the story as well great story Wow, great. All right, I think that is the end. Mm. Is that the end? Yeah, the boy and the beast or Bakemono no Ko. Um Alright. Okay, so that was Bakemono no Ko and um now a fantastic movie as I said, like you know, it showed us everything in like you know in decent proportions. Ni neither thing was too extended nor too shortened. It was a very comfortable face and uh, a pace and it, it moved really smoothly and it did not feel as if either it's dragging or it's rushing. It was a very nice uh, feeling, you know, to see this movie like we saw a lot of things and it was like, you know, able I was we was we were able to enjoy it in a very well, you know, written and when thought out manner, everything was very organized. I really liked that about this movie and um it has an interesting concept uh with this like a world where only beasts live and these beasts do not actually interact with humans because uh like you know and bring humans back because of the darkness in their heart that they have and uh, now okay so like okay so these two kumatesu and the other person uh ichi uh, what was his name ichiroku uh, was that what his name was just a sec uh i forgot his name uh yozan sorry no who was ichiroku then oh Ichirohiko. Ichirohiko was uh, the other, uh, the the kid, uh, yeah, that kid, and the other kid who who like you know got his um heart consumed with darkness. Okay, so uh, Kumatetsu and Yozan. So this Kumatetsu and this Yozan, they obviously we know like you know they have to fight to become the grandmaster, and the grandmaster wanted to become a god. So now 
interesting thing here is like this show it it showed us how not only um ren or uh kyuto yeah kyuto ren or kyuto he it, it not only showed us how he changed you know but it also shows us how uh, uh kumate also changes in a very positive way like he really needed someone to actually help him in uh, places where he was lacking which is why by the end of it he was actually able to win you know kumatetsu so like it's really what can i say like good to see that it was not that it was not only that yeah he was the master he was teaching uh, Rick, uh kyuto everything it was not only that kyuto also ta taught him so many many things and it's interesting to see that the one of the uh, his friends what was his name tatara tatara he as no was it tatara or no i think it was yakushubo yakushubo uh, i think he was the one who said something like um that uh since he since uh kumatetsu grew up alone he never was able to see other people you know and observe other people and learn from them he always was like the lone wolf you know always doing things on his own he like you know he learned he even learned about fighting on his own so that's why he usually did not observe other people and just like went in head straight and that's that was the biggest weakness he had which made him lose against um yozen so like kyuto here he because he wanted to learn he started observing uh, kuma tetsu and started learning the effective ways of footwork and how to avoid the other person the enemy uh, properly using his own maneuver techniques and everything so like interesting like it's very interesting to see that is like he was also in the same position uh, kyuto you know like he was also kind of like the lone wolf but after he comes here since he gets a person who is usually beside him his master that is kumatetsu and he has that uh, feeling in his heart that yeah i want to learn something i want to become strong he starts observing him and learning and which makes him better at actually reading opponents than his own master <laughs> you know uh, than his own sensei and he just like, you know he he learns that and he was like yeah I'll, i'm going to teach you this and you're going to teach me you have to fight and both of them you know were beneficial were positive people like you know were some kind of positive thing for each other and both learned from each other and that's one thing that i really liked in this movie it's not it, it was not a one way road you know it went both ways both of them mm, enriched yeah each other and both of them taught the other person something and uh, like and that's one thing that i really loved about this and <clears throat> yeah also um what else yeah and then like you know they, they fight they bicker they learn <laughs> you know and like one like you know for the first one hour we get to see what happened during their, their childhood and i, I love the, the like thing that he like, said in the beginning in the beginning he was like yeah we have a sword in our heart and uh, that line really reminded me of gintama you know like the gintama there's like oh i think gintoki says that like there's a sword in our heart and uh, not sword but i think he said something like there's a um, yeah something like that in our heart which lets us stand straight and not break even in the most um what do you call it you know even the most uh, bad situations the sword in our hearts keeps us straight and we don't give up something like that so i really love that and the kumata said the awkward way he was actually trying to explain what was in a person's heart <laughs> but was unable to so he was just like yeah we have a sword in our heart <laughs> but yeah that's his own way of interpreting that's his own way of interpreting strength when you know like the other grandmasters that we saw each and every one of them interpreted 
strength in their own way and explained it. I think that this is Kumatetsu's way of interpreting strength, which obviously became uh, Hyuto's way of interpreting strength as well in the future. And uh, yeah, okay, so one thing that I was quite interested like, was quite interesting in this was uh, the whole uh, darkness in human's heart thing. Uh, the whole thing that was in human's heart. So, like, so basically, uh, I noticed this and like, you know, it kind of explains a lot of things that uh, first of all, when the, the you know, when Kyuto and the other guy, uh, the other brother, what was his name? Um, wait, where is he? He's not listed here. Um, what the hell? What was his name? I forgot. The, um, the, the other... Uh, Jiro Maru, okay, that's his name. Yeah, Jiro Maru, you know, like Jiro Maru and uh, Kyuto. Now, Jiro Maru was uh, Yozen's own kid and a person from here, uh, like, you know, this uh, world. And, uh, like, at the beginning, he was kind of messing with him, you know, he was like teasing him, bullying him, kind of. And then, when he actually sees Kyuto beating him and his uh, friends, he was like, oh, like this is so cool, like wanna be friends or something like that. And this really shows us the lack of, uh, what do you call it? The lack of um, the darkness that as they explained in, hu in their heart. And like, you know, like he, like I really was not expecting that. The way he kind of started acknowledging him after seeing that, yeah, he's actually someone worthy of uh, acknowledging and not like you know going in the direction of envy and jealousy that really shows us what is the difference between the humans that are here that came here and the actual residents of this place they were he was just fascinated he was fascinated with how strong he was and he wanted to become friends with him that was basically it and i'm sure if in, in that place if it was not uh, what do you call it if, if it was not jiroma when it was ichiro hiko who actually got beaten I think he would have started getting a little bit envious and the whole like you know the, the darkness in his heart would start increasing and that's what is the difference between the humans and the people here here the people uh i don't think they have this kind of thing like you know this kind of negative emotions as they said and that's why they also do not want the other humans coming here and like you know uh you know and mixing with them because it's dangerous because humans have this thing in their heart and uh, like these people have no such thing i think so the way they explained everything at least that's what i understood and that really explains why and how jiro maru acted like that you know he was basically fascinated he had nothing no darkness in his heart none of them had but he like you know like uh, it was not kind of the same for uh, ichiro hiko that was his name the names are really difficult, <laughs> Ichiro Hiko, and he, like, you know, his source of anxiety was, in a way, I have to say, uh, was his, like, you know, dad's fault a little bit, because, uh, like, he never told him the truth, and that made him more anxious, and kind of backfired in a way. Like, I'm sure if he actually explained in the beginning that, yeah, you're not, actually not our the kid you're not a person from here but you know like but i love you like my own son you should not like you know keep these thing type of things in your head if he like explained something like this in this way yeah he probably would have been sad and like you know maybe the darkness would have grown after that even if he told him that but it would have been a lot lesser the thing that he basically did here he like he made his son anxious in the beginning you know, his, like, you know, he, he had started had, having anxiety and thinking that why is my nose not go, growing big? Why is my tusks not growing? What's happening? And he started getting anxious and everything. And that be became the main source of the negative thoughts in his heart. And yeah, that was bad. That was a very wrong decision. And like the thing that actually makes me really surprised is the way as he, he himself kind of uh, you know admits it in the end uh, Yozan 
as he says that like you know i was really confused i was like okay, okay like he like you know, he has a human child as well so why the hell was he uh, like you know uh, when um, uh, kumatetsu brought ren here why was he uh, like, you know saying stuff like oh like you should not go, like you know mix with humans humans have these type of uh, like you know the, the darkness in their heart you know you should uh, keep, like you know let him go back to the human uh, you know city and we should not interact with them i was like why like then why like he himself has a human child and then when he actually answers the question and the reason we get to know is very unusual and shows his pride in a way and i think that's one part of him that like you know he actually was able to acknowledge in the end yozan that he was prideful like he was prideful he thought that oh like this child you know he's even though he's a human child he's with me so everything will be fine you know i, I won't let anything happen to him kumatetsu he like you know he usually like moves like you know does nothing he's irresponsible and doesn't have much good quality so if he takes in a human child this could go bad he was basically like this and this really shows us his pride like you know like the way he actually looked down on kumatetsu and uh, which obviously he got to realize in the end and i i don't know like is pride is supposed to be also a bad like, you know a sin isn't it so like i'm guessing pride is also supposed to be part of the negative emotions that human have so i don't know like, like he being a person from this world harbored those kind of feelings within him so that's one thing that i'm quite you know not sure about like like how like they were supposed to be but you know what uh, i'm guessing they are basically like even though they have like little pride and these kind of things envy uh the other like you know uh things other, other negative emotions even though they have that they don't act on it or something like that i think that's probably the reason why they're all you know fine here they don't have the darkness like they have that but they don't act on it like having like everyone has pride everyone has uh the feelings of envy the other you know, negative feelings feelings of anger but it starts becoming wrong when people starts acting on them you know like you might get angry at something but if you start getting violent that's bad like uh, yeah like everyone gets angry like that's not the point here the point here is do not act on it so something like that i don't know maybe that was the reason why you know like he was prideful but he not he did not act on it like you know he was not as prideful as he would like you know belittle others that was not within him he was prideful but, but that was just it so maybe it was because of that i don't know <coughs> excuse me <coughs> yeah all right okay so that was that and uh the whole thing with his dad his actual dad you know kyuto's actual dad uh meeting him and like you know at the, the beginning he was kind of confused as to as to what to do you know like go back to kumatetsu or go back to his dad and all that stuff so but in the end he was able to figure out what to do and i'm sure he goes like you know back and forth to the uh what do you call it i don't know like you know to, to the other world or maybe not maybe he's like you know living here forever now but yeah and uh okay so now comes the other main character i think he was kaide and how she also kind of helps uh ren choose his path take his decisions and um uh, like you know helps him in a very positive way now like this like you know this the movie's theme is very what can i say focused on codependency in my like you know opinion as i saw you know like like most of the thing in this movie that like it, that kind of everything that implied like codependency was a big thing as like you know like you should always be with someone uh like you know and like it really helps to be with someone to share your troubles with someone and all that stuff so that was this and like you know movie and we see how ren actually really like you know starts as a kid who really did not want to depend on anyone but by the end of it because he dependent on everyone and he like you know uh 
what can I say? Like took help from everyone. By the end, it that that dependency really saved him, and he was not consumed by the darkness, which was unfortunately not the case with um, <clears throat> Ichi Ichiro Hiko. Because even though it seemed as if he was a good, like you know, what can I say? Like a happy person, a happy kid, like you know, depending on others, he was lonely inside, and he really usually did not depend on others. And which kind of like you know surely what can i say like affected him and his dad as well like his dad was barely not even in the house you know uh, like his dad was either training outside or something like i think like even if if his dad was at least a little bit in his house and like you know interacted with him a little bit more i'm sure it would have wouldn't have escalated into this but his dad basically had to like you know train and like you know uh, do training for the match so i kind of get that but uh, still, like, uh, it, I, I think, like, it wouldn't have ex escalated that much. Because I think, like, the only person he actually uh, opened up to was his dad. Like, I don't, I didn't see him actually opening up to either his mom or his uh, brother. So, like, you know, the only person that actually kind of understood him was not even in the house m most of the time. So, I'm guessing that, like, you know, pushed him to the edge, brink. And with all the insecurities that he had, like, you know, I don't have it task i don't have a nose and i don't know maybe he also suspected something about like you know like i maybe i'm also human i'm sure he suspected that because he he knew ren and he i'm sure he must have thought someday in his head like you know sometimes in his head that why do i and ren look so similar he's a human child you know so i'm sure he suspected that and i'm sure he actually kind of had little realization that maybe i'm also human because my tusks are not growing my snot is not growing so i'm sure that even pushed him more to the brink and uh, yeah <laughs> but yeah okay and then the final battle where we get to see uh, you know kumatesu and yozan battling and uh, yeah then the whole thing happens the uh, you know ichi ichiro hiko taps kumatetsu and stuff happens and like you know like and we know what happens like he gets injured uh, ren goes to the modern world to stop him <clears throat> kaide comes helps him and in the end kumatetsu becomes the sword in his heart and uh, yeah now uh, he became a god in a way and uh, the god of i think the god of sukumogami uh, sukumogamis are actually uh, yokais i think not yokais but yeah kind of like you know yokais which are usually like you know sukumogamis are stuff for example non-living objects let's just take a teapot you know or something some other non-living object maybe a knife you know that you've been using for like a long amount of time 300 years 400 years 500 years it's been in use so those type of things usually starts harboring a soul and you know that's what like you know when it becomes a sukumogami a type of a yokai like that's basically like the explanation of a sukumogami as far as i know so that means like sukumamis are usually yokais which inhabit uh, into a non-living object which has been in use for a long while so that's why like you know like he became a sukumogami which is perfect for uh, being like you know the sword that he is like you know and the sword that he went into ren's heart and started filling the void in his heart and uh, yeah that's what he became by the end it's kind of sad in a way because yeah, like we won't be able to see him. He'll always be within Ren from now on. Uh, but yeah, you know, like as he said, like I'll, I'll, I'll keep looking after you forever after this. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And in the end, I'm guessing Kaide also, like, you know, went Kaide, yeah, that was her name, went to the other world. You know, and I'm sure like a lot of people will start to, uh, what can I say, mm, accept humans a lot more easier after this. 
because of the whole situation thing and we also saw how Kaede helped you know Ren in this such a positive manner so I'm sure a lot of people will actually change their mind and that's a good thing because they also I'm sure they also realize that codependency you know the whole thing and Kaede was there for Ren just like how all the other people was, were also there for him so yeah okay and in the end we get to see a happy ending where everything is fine he uh, decides to take the entrance exams uh, he's living with his dad and uh, yeah Kumatesu is in his heart okay uh, was that it? yeah I think so so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to uh, Bakemono no Ko so that was a fantastic movie I knew that it was good but after watching it I really am able to understand how much good this is this is really great well wow, definitely one of the you know one of the better movies I've seen and uh, like yes top notch okay so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to bakemono no ko if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i usually put out uh anime movie reactions every week you know so like yeah like every week this day i usually put out one movie reaction so yeah and uh, if you you know comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching okay um next week uh the movie that i'm going to do is now i'm not sure like uh i think uh by next week uh evangelion three point uh what was it three points the, the final uh, you know movie of evangelion will be out i think it's coming out on 13th august on amazon prime i think as, as far as far as i know so by the next week it will be out and next week if it is out you know next week i'm going to do reaction to um evangelion the final move so if it is out otherwise i'll do something else i think it will be out because like you know like the date is 13th august and i think the next week will be 14th yeah 14th august so it'll be out for one day uh it'll be one day after it's out so yeah i'm, I'm, I'm most probably i'm going to do it uh, do the evangelion movie next week so yeah so yeah guys so that's what i'll do next week so uh, yeah so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day